Hey everyone. So we are here at the part two of making the shoe sole. Now this particular part is very important because you're actually making the mold to where the rubber will be poured and that way we can make our custom made soles to attach to the shoes. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Hopefully you guys have been having a good week. All right, here we go. Okay, so guys, what we have on the table here are two examples of the heel and we actually have a mirroring design if you can look here we have the left heel and the right heel of the sole mold now um before i can pour the mold i have to make a box to go around the mold also you have these here which are samples of different rubber they have different flexibilities and hardnesses okay and you can actually dye and add color to these so with that being said, you want to make sure that your rubber fits well with your shoe design and that it will pour well into the molds. Okay, right now we've got the toe part of the mold printing. And so that way we'll have two halves and that way the rubber sole will be easier to remove once the liquid rubber is poured. So I'm going to go over to the computer and show you exactly how I designed this particular mold for the shoe sole. All right, let's go over there. In this diagram here, you can see there are four operations that you can do in 3D modeling. You can join two objects together, but I opted to subtract the shoe from the mold. So that's what I did. So I used the Boolean operation to subtract the actual sole from a block. Let's see how that's done. Okay guys, just a quick reference. This here, in this area right here where this is gray, is the actual shoe sole, okay? And all I did was take a basic block and stretch it out and then took this shoe sole and just subtracted right from it. Okay. And so that way I have my left and right sole I also split that square up. And so that way once it's split, you can actually um, move that around as you can see just like that. And the only reason why I had to split it up is because my printer bed was not uh, big enough to have the whole mold. Okay. So. Once you get that, you export it um, in your file and then you're ready to print, okay? But that's basically what you do. You do a Boolean operation and that subtracts from the square and then you get your mold. Okay, so here's the actual shoe design which the sole is gonna go on. And um, once again, if you wanna see how this shoe was actually made, go over to thimblebook.com and you can see a video on those details there. But this is an old sole that I pulled off of an old shoe. It's cracked and worn out. But as you can see, once you grab a mold, the heel fits pretty much perfectly in there. Now, if you look there, you can see it fits perfectly. So instead of taking this old sole and trying to attach it to this shoe, we're gonna pour brand new soles using these molds. Okay, guys, I wanna demonstrate how these two halves fit together. Basically, this is the mold for the right shoe. And as you can see, those two halves line up perfectly to form the mold. And I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see. And I did it in two different colors so that way I can actually see the difference in the shoe sole. So just to demonstrate so you can see it, I'm going to put the old suit shoe sole in there. And there you go. Fits right perfect. So when I pour that rubber, this is going to be that new sole that goes with the new pair of shoes over here. Hopefully over the weekend I can do some test pours and early next week we will have a video out on how to actually assemble and glue the sole to the shoe. Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in today and looking at this update of part two on how to make a shoe sole. Also, if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, check out CLO Pixel Gamers. There I'm doing updated reviews for the year. Guys, I appreciate the subs, the subscriptions, the likes, and also the views. And if you learned something in this video, share it out. Um, guys, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.